At the time of European contact, my people lived near Saginaw Bay of Lake Huron and Green Bay of Lake Michigan. The Sauk tribe built the large village of Sotnik in Rock Island, Illinois. The Fox tribe built smaller villages along the western shore of the Mississippi River. The Sauk and Fox tribes were originally two separate tribes during the 1700s. A French attack on the Fox tribe caused the two tribes to band together. The United States government merged the Sauk and Fox tribes as one, beginning with the Treaty of St. Louis in 1804. This treaty was the first of many that would push my people from their homelands in Rock Island. There was no compromise. My people were tricked and manipulated into stealing away all of our land east of the Mississippi. This treaty was protested by my people due to the fact that the signatories did not have authority to make any agreements on our behalf. The Treaty of 1804 stated that the Sox and Foxes could remain on the land as long as they kept peace with the settlers. This too was a promise that was not kept and amended in other treaties that followed. The Sox and Fox people were forced to share land with the settlers that continued to move into our villages. The settlers demanded that my people should be removed from our village. My people lived on these lands and in their lodges for over a century, and people from a foreign country who have invaded their home demand that they leave everything that they have ever known and worked for. Our ancestors were buried on these lands. It is sacred to us. It is a part of our culture to take care of the graves and keep a connection to our history. None of this sat well with our war leader, Black Hawk. He refused to leave. By 1831, the governor of Illinois, backed by the Indian Removal Act, demanded that U.S. authorities remove Black Hawk and our people from our village of Sotnik. We were removed to Iowa, with a promise to be supplied with enough food and corn that would equal what we were to leave behind. This did not happen. Black Hawk began a campaign to return to our homelands and our village of Sotnik. Followed by some of our men, women, children, and elders, Black Hawk tried to return to Rock Island to reclaim the crops he left behind. To the authorities, this was seen as an act of war and began what would later be known as the Black Hawk War of 1832. Even though our return to Sotnik wasn't an act of war, Black Hawk and our people were hunted down. On August 2nd, 1832, my people were massacred at what was labeled as the Battle at Bad Axe. Black Hawk and the remaining survivors surrendered, and our respected war leader was imprisoned. With Black Hawk out of the way, the U.S. government leaned heavily in the cooperation of the government-appointed chief, Keokuk. He signed multiple treaties that would cede away a total of 12 million acres of our lands in Iowa to the United States. Keokuk agreed to move our people to a reservation in present-day Kansas. The land and territory proved extremely challenging to pursue our way of life that we had lived for generations. In the winter of 1851, an estimated 100 of our people, mainly the Fox tribe, returned to Iowa. In 1856, the state of Iowa enacted a law allowing the Foxes to reside in the state. For the remaining tribal members, more settlers moving into the Kansas Reservation met yet another treaty negotiation to remove the Sauk and Foxes into Indian Territory. Mokohoko, a Sauk chief, and over 200 of his followers would stay behind. He was not in favor of being removed once again, and in 1875, secured permission for the band to remain in Kansas. The trip to Indian Territory took 19 days, from the time of European contact to arrival in Oklahoma. The Sauk and Fox people that once thrived in number in the thousands were closely dissipated. Our language, our dances, our feasts, our ceremonies, our culture, our way of life, these were all viewed as barriers to Indian progress. We were being acculturated and in hopes to erase any sign of our history. We were forced to go along with all of it. But through any uncertainty and adversity, my people are still here. We have managed to hold on to our traditional ways. We still feast and have ceremonies. We still know our history. We still dance. The United States government used multiple treaties, little compromise, and much conflict to ensure the spread of European settlers into the West, pushing my people onto unsettled lands west of the Mississippi, and ultimately splitting my people into three separate bands, Meskwaki, or the Sac and Fox tribe of the Mississippi and Iowa, Nimaha, or the Sac and Fox Nation of Missouri and Kansas, and Thaki, or the Sac and Fox Nation of Oklahoma. My name is Tequito. I am a descendant of survivors. 
I have been assimilated, but I am not defeated. I will carry on my way of life in the two worlds I currently reside in. To tell my story is to share the stories of all the indigenous people of this continent. We are living, breathing history. We are still here. Kiwawiyama, thank you.